Hello. First question. Do you like color? Yeah. I love color too. And I wouldn't want to change a thing about the colorful world that we live in. Except this. Um, oops. 22% of the global industrial sewage is caused by the textile industry, namely by the dying process of textiles. And we, the Vienna Textile Lab, I'm Karin, we want to change that. We produce dyes made from bacteria. And this is our deal. We sell our pigments made from bacteria to textile companies, yarn companies, chemical companies, for 200 euros a kilogram. So where are we going to do this? Well, as you can imagine, the textile market is huge. And so is the market for chemicals and auxiliary chemicals to put color on fabrics. This is like a 17.6 billion euro business. That means 3 million tons of these dyes are consumed every year globally. 50% of them are in China, 25% in Asia, the rest of Asia, and 12% in Europe. This is where we want to enter. So, in such a segment of the textile industry, this is a low margin business. The only way you can be successful is to sell at a lower price than your competitor. That means we have to sell cheaper than the synthetic dyes made, used normally in the textile industry. So, what are we going to do? What's our product? We collect bacteria in nature, the most color yielding ones, bring them to the lab, grow them, separate the dyes, make pigments from them, and sell them off to dye clothes and furniture, for instance. And this is not rocket science. It's been known to pharmaceutical industry to grow bacteria for decades. And it's known to mankind for over 5,000 years how to dye textiles. So talking about time. In five years, we want to generate 1.7 million euros on profit entering the European market and having a 60% share. We can only do that if we can reach a production, if we can reach certain production costs. They need to be really low. This is our key driver. And also, we need to make sure that we can produce enough to sell them off in batches. So, second question. Look down on yourself. Look at your T-shirt. Does it make any sense that you're wearing a T-shirt that is dyed with synthetic dyes made from crude oil? We think not. You don't have to drill a hole in the ground, get the crude oil out, refine it, and then ship the products off to the chemical industry to synthesize dyes, and then, in one year, you throw away your T-shirt. So, by using bacterial dyes, you use less CO2, you need less water, and you produce basically no toxic waste. So you're thinking, okay, from being sustainable, having a greener image, being biodegradable, what's there else? Well, it's safe to work with bacterial dyes. It's safe to work with this bacteria. They're not harmful. It's all so smart. That means growing something from so small to make a lot of batch. It's also, you can do that anywhere in the world. And it's not dependent on commodity prices. So, may I introduce you Chantino Bacterium Levitum, our superhero. <laughs> then, Eric, he's a chemist and artist. He's been collecting bacteria all around the world for decades to find the most yielding one. And he's painting with live bacteria. And then, here with me today is Bettina. She is a biotechnologist and she loves bacteria. There's also Dania, she loves bacteria as well, and me. I'm Karen, a chemist and a manager. And what all unites us, that we love the beauty of these colors, to match technology and design, and have this smarter manufacturing method. And at the end, we just like to have fun with bacteria, something so small. And this is it. Thank you very much. Yeah.